We are live for Indy 2022, broadcasting uh, right by the main stage here. And I'm just after nabbing a former select Irish artist at Cork's 96 FM, Moncrief. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm really good. Are you uh, excited for your performance later on tonight? Yeah, I'm buzzing. This was like the festival I used to go to like a few years ago when I was before I moved to London. So, yeah, it's it's good to be coming back to it. I'm not going to lie, I did sneak into your sound check a little bit earlier on and uh, I totally fangirled for a while. That was me in the corner, just like mouth open. That was me. Was that I you? Yeah, that was you. All right. Yeah, no. <laughs> Come here to me. What a year you've had this year. It's just gone from strength to strength to strength. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been good, to, especially after the last two years of sitting in my bedroom to people actually, and kind of questioning everything to people actually caring what you're doing. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Because <laughs> I remember hearing you first. You were a select Irish artist on Cork's 96 FM. And I remember thinking, oh, my God, yeah. that is a voice that's going to go places. And my God, how things have gone for you this year. You're no stranger to Cork. You were here pretty recently uh, supporting Picture This. How was that? That gig was unbelievable. Honestly, it was to go up on a stage like that in front of that many people. Like, it was such a buzz. Honestly, it was mad. I loved seeing the videos of that gig actually because you are just in your element. You're almost trying to burst into the crowd. I'd say if you could stage dive, you would. You would. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I mean, not unfortunately, but there's just, it's a lot of young girls, so I don't think they'd be able to take my weight. <laughs> I'd have to like, I know I'd have to get a couple of lads in there to, to put up the main the main brunt of the work. But yeah, I mean, playing playing those stages is is what the dream for me is, you know? like getting up and, and, and running around and just trying to create as big a memory as you can for people, really. That's the main thing. What is it like to hear a crowd of that size singing back lyrics that you've written in your bedroom? What is that feeling like? Whatever drug you've tried, it's way better than that. <laughs> like, yeah, it's really, it's, it is literally the, probably the best feeling. It's kind of like the opposite of... Um, of, po of PTSD, but in a, in a really good way. You don't process it until maybe a couple of days later, you know? i got to write that down. It's the opposite of PTSD. Um, you did Cypress Avenue recently enough as well, and I mean, that is a pretty small venue in comparison to the likes of Musgrave Park or Indy here. Do you have to psych yourself up in a different way to play to, to crowds that size? Not at all. I mean, it's always the same. I mean, I'm... I only did my first tour back in April and that was the first that was the second show of it I mean the, the show before that was Mike the Pies which is a very very small venue and this was like the, uh, Cypress Avenue was like a huge step up from that and it was the first time do, I did a gig that felt like a real concert and yeah it was that show was amazing all the, all the shows so far I'm not trying to sound like oh everything's class but uh, yeah it, it's all brand new experiences so they're all really special in their own way yeah yeah. What is that song tonight that you are most looking forward to performing? What is that one that you all look at each other on stage and you're like, this is the one, this is the one that really gets the crowd going? What is that song? Well, like, I mean, we've only released two songs from, well, I've only released two songs from this current EP. So, um, warm people, people singing that back is always special. But there is there's a couple of songs. There's, there's a song called Talk that's coming up on the new EP and a song called Rewind, which... Um, I wrote in the depths of like lockdown depression but seemed to make really interesting moments in the gig so hopefully if you're there you'll, you'll, you'll see it 100% listen an absolute pleasure to talk to you can I compliment your shirt as well that is a fabulous shirt you are wearing Thank today you very much I appreciate <laughs> it Mon Karif, a pleasure best of luck with your performance later on tonight thanks so much for chatting to us this evening thank you very much see you later